Hey guys, it's me, nobody noob, and today we are going to play Minecraft Story Mode Episode 8, and I hope you enjoy. Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. As long as we stick together, it's gonna be fine. We'll either get the Atlas and go home, or we'll be stuck in the nether together forever. That is not reassuring, Jesse. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible. And we weren't in there that long. Lucas, we need the Atlas to get home. <sighs> I know. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting. You being here. Great, as long as I get to go home. That is the point. But you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the game. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleet, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. I wonder how this is gonna go. These other losers don't look so tough. I can't believe how much they love this Tim guy. What's up with that? No idea. Definitely weird, though. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? A race! We've totally got this! <laughs> got this, huh? Boom! Oh. Surprise locker room visit! Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian. And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim.
I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? Whatever you're throwing at us can't be any worse than the other stuff we've already survived. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes, perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. Em might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. Oh, come on, Em. You expect me to believe that? What are you up to here? Nothing, honest. It's just... Watching you negotiate with Hadrian, trying to get home... It inspired me. Made me want to go home, too. We should be working together. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay, too. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Gladiator Junction? That sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's gonna involve a lot of punching and kicking. Let's play it safe. Hadrian might have something else planned. You got it, Jesse. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, which is pretty far for the record. I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together and I'm glad that M like totally suggested that we can do this uh yeah I knew that you were cool from the moment we met competitors on your mark get set go Did it. This has been pretty tough. Can't wait to see what else they throw at us. What did we get ourselves into? You're just getting started. Huh? Out of the way, chumps.
Okay, sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators? Part. I sure hope so. Come on, then. Glad she's with us, Jesse. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh, yeah, Slab, because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that, right, Em? Em? <laughs> By squishing. What? Jesse, got your back. Go. Go. Now I'm winning this thing. Hey, whoa, whoa, Jesse. Way to catch up, dude. Very nice. You just can't take a hit, can you? Huh? Get dunked on, whoa, whoa, slacker. Hang on. Whoa. Oh, come on! I don't mention it. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true. 
Then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. You lied to me. You tricked me into trusting you. All the stuff you said about being friends was a lie. I know. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, no, no. Please. You probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. You really trusted Hadrian? That guy's like a creeper in a purple power suit. Hey, you try being stuck here as long as I have. Then you can talk. I'm out of here. Okay, respawning is the worst. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Hadrian doesn't like to be kept waiting. Okay, if they want to see me, let's go. Uh, really? Well, that was unexpected. No. Just Jesse. Ugh. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. Okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. Give me one sec, I want to talk to him. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hurry up. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse, I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Sebastian. Phew. Okay. Good. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse! Come on! And now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Yeah, sorry about that. I just really wanted to hear what that guy had to say. <sighs> Whatever. So if you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe my channel for more videos and for the next part of Minecraft Story Mode Episode 8 goodbye.